All right, let's talk about the thing that everybody really wants to talk about is equipment. What kind of equipment do you need for search and rescue? What makes a good SAR drone? Let's jump into that. One of the key features that you need to worry about are the endurance of that drone. How long can you keep it up in the air? What is the camera system? Does it offer a thermal camera, zoom camera, wide angle lens? Does it offer a laser range finder? Does it allow you to be able to find your patients and get the exact coordinates of where your patients are? Does it have an IP rating? And then of course, how much does it cost? The Matrice 30 has a thermal option to it with this powerful payload right here. It also has a fantastic zoom camera and also an endurance and IP rating that is basically unmatched by most anything else in the industry. It fills just about every single role that a search and rescue drone pilot would need to be able to save as many lives as possible. I'm proud to say that my team here in Weber County was the very first team in the world to log a life saved with this Matrice 30. Please stay tuned for part three.